Hello guys, hello, hello, welcome, welcome to another educational video. And firstly, I just want to appreciate everyone for uh, coming forward to this YouTube and watching these uh, these analysis videos. And uh, firstly, I just want to uh, say if you haven't gone through my free course, I will definitely suggest you guys to go through those free course and uh, free videos which I have uploaded in YouTube and uh, and then come here. For more value and uh, what i suggest is just go through all the entire course and just and after that just go to the first five webinars uh, where i went more de uh, more deep into the analysis as well they are very uh, informative those videos are very uh, really informative and uh, yeah i think it's been more than three months i didn't upload even a single uh, analysis video in youtube uh, this is because I was just busy with my personal work and mainly my trading career as well. And I was just improving few more things in my trading, uh, with few more things in my trading and I've seen some negative feed, uh, drawbacks in my trading. So just to come back, I just took some break from social media and all those things. But yeah, I was just, I'm um, just back to normal and yeah, I'm doing pretty good. And uh, I, I, will simultaneously, I was just busy with my private students as well, uh, giving the value and uh, yeah, looking at the. So I thought maybe I should uh, make my time to do another analysis for you guys for coming days. So, so I think these are the four stocks I was just looking at. Of course, there are other stocks which are really good, but particularly I just focus on these stocks because they are listed in NF Nifty 50. Uh, they give good movement in intraday and of course this finger as well so i was just focusing on these stocks and uh, so spi and jsw tool coal india and bpcl is what i was looking at and uh my nifty and nifty 50 is what i will definitely analyze definitely analyze in the market <laughs> so we need the uh, these two buyers right so market sentiment is what we need to really look uh, forward for these particular stocks to trade okay so the first one is, as you can see, like a 5, 15, 1 hour daily, you can also go but for 4 hours as well. So I don't think so. We, didn't, we really need 4 hours because 2, two 4 hours candle will make 1 uh, daily candle, right? So 2, 4 hours candle will make 1 daily candle. I don't think so. We need 4 hours time frame at present. So I, I just uh, went blindly to 1 hour, 15 and 5 minutes time frame. So these are the best time frames you can trade in the market. So the first thing, like, uh, let's go for Bank Nifty. So this is Bank Nifty. So what I'm looking at Bank Nifty. So I'll draw all my uh, bias, I mean, all my trend lines, all my uh, support and assistance step and all these things, okay? So it, at the at this end of the video, I'll make, I'll just give you one statement uh, uh, which changed the way uh, I see the market, okay? Just stay tuned for that, okay? Just one statement. So stay, uh, stay tuned. So I'll just draw my all my support and distance and trend lines in this uh, 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 in this particular uh, index. So this is a level which bounce back. So this is where I'll uh, market boost upside. So I'll draw my support here. So my support here, and of course, so uh, this one is also pretty good. I think so. So this is a resistance level. So these are the four four levels for support and distance level, which is daily time frame. So these are levels which is really very really, uh, good, uh, which are which are really holding strongly. Okay, so this is a support level. Okay, if you haven't gone through my support and assistance video, I'll definitely suggest you guys to go for that. And I've explained everything in detail how the market moves with this support and assistance. Level. So let me draw the uh, trend lines as well. So this is the trend line which is following. So one touch, two, three, so three touches. So it's a valid trend line. So we need at least two touches for a valid trend line, right? So one touch and two touch. So, so it's a valid, see so bounce from here and maybe chance that it can bounce from here as well. And uh, I can even see that the price has been testing at this level, okay? I can clearly say that the price has found, uh, a, a, a price has formed a rising wedge uh, kind of pattern Oh, at the end of this resistance level at around 32,000 at this level. Okay. So what, what does rising wedge do? So it's a reversal pattern, right? So chances are there for the market to fall down. So these are the levels which are really, um, uh, which are really uh, perfect to analyze the market. So I'll draw another level, which is really good to implement, but you don't really need, but it is good. Okay. So this is a level 
So why why I'm just drawing this one as well? So just imagine this thing. If this dynamic, if this support is broken, sorry, if this resistance is broken, if the price is going upside, if resistance is broken, if that resistance becomes support, then why not this dynamic resistance is broken? Then why not this dynamic uh, resistance becomes dynamic support? So this is also a valid statement, right? So if this dynamic uh, resistance is broken, now this becomes our dynamic support. So that's why I've drawn my level here. Okay. So these are the levels which I've drawn. So these are very pretty good level, and I don't think so. We have another levels as well. Yeah, maybe this one is good, but not that much. So this one is also good, but not not, not that much. Okay. So this is a one touch, two touch. So it's a valid trend line. So chance are the market can go till thirty five thousand or maybe thirty four thousand as well. So this is daily time frame uh, trend line. I'll draw this one. This is daily time frame analysis. So I'll go by, uh, blindly towards the four one hour, four hours. As I already said that we don't really need four hours because two four hours candle will make one daily candle. Okay, we don't really need that. So as we clearly see that it is a rising which kind of pattern. Okay, rising which kind of pattern. Uh, so this means that chance are there market can fall down in coming days. So it can maybe chance that it can fall down. This is a support or support level, right? Which we have drawn in daily time frame, okay? Which is holding and it has broken now as well. So this is a chance are there market can fall down till twenty six thousand five hundred. I'm saying chances are there. Okay, remember I said that I'll say a few statements at the end of the session. Just just keep in mind, okay? Just stay tuned. So. Yeah, market fell down badly from here, uh, which has it has formed a simple rising wedge pattern. One touch, two touch, three. So many touches are there. And the fourth touch, market fell down badly here in Binance T, and the present one, two, three. It's a valid tonight. And here slightly it has uh like uh, it has volatility in a sense, like it has slightly broken and came back to the support level. Here in this case, if the, if we Definitely think that the market can move for uh, upside, so we need any reversal pattern here, or else maybe we need a descending channel. We need a descending channel here for the market to move upside, right? So I don't think so. We uh, really have that particular descending channel there. So this is so according to one hour. What I am expecting is this is what I am just thinking about. Um, so bear flag. I'm just looking at the market to fall down till this support level. After this level is broken, it can fall down further more down settle twenty six thousand five hundred. Okay, so this is a very crucial level. Just mark your levels as well in your charts. Okay, so one touch, two touch, and of course the third touch. We need a bear flag for the market to fall down. And of course, if you look at this entire uh, chart pattern, it is forming a rising wedge pattern in one hour. So let's go back to the fifteen years time frame, and this is a fifteen years time frame. I don't think so. This is perfectly all right. So I need this kind of movement. This is not a perfect bear flag moment. So why I'm saying this thing is because, uh, according to this bigger picture in one hour, we need bigger bear flag, not smaller bear flags. Then of course, uh, this also is valid one, but I need this kind of uh, bear flags here. Okay. Now this will definitely make sense for the market to move for the downside, but. We just need to wait, okay? If in case if this this is not happening, it can I mean the market can move further downside as well. This is also possibility is there, okay? Whatever the thing it is, possibility is there. Overall, it is at a dynamic support level. If this level is also like uh, breaking, uh, it's broke few times like from oh uh, from like nine fifteen like almost like uh, oh at least one day it has been testing at this level and so it. Suddenly the price moved upside. Okay, so here Nifty Fifty has fallen down, but Buy Nifty didn't fall. So maybe some some sort of demand level is there here. So that's why the price is still testing at that particular level. So I need this kind of bear flag for the market to move up downside till twenty eight thousand five hundred, and after that, if this level is broken, it can fall down till twenty six thousand or five hundred. Okay, so highly chances are there for the market to fall down. So I'll just show the why chances are it can fall down till here is because so I'll go for the daily time frame. So I didn't really explain this concept which is Fibonacci, but I'm just uh, adding this thing. So this is Fibonacci. So don't mind, I just uh, remove the color. Okay, so I just 
from Drew my Fibonacci. We can clearly see that the market is this particular support level is there, right? It is at the 50% ratio. Okay, it is at the 50% ratio. So highly chances are there for the market to fall till this 50%. I'm just saying chance are there, okay? So remember I said, right, stay tuned for those three statements which I uh, say at the end, okay? So highly chances are that you can move till this level. So you can look at this thing. You can go further down so upside like this as well. So this is what I'm just looking at. So this is daily time frame. So I'll go for maybe five minutes time frame. This is the least time frame I go. And of course I trade in one minute time frame as well with with different one, different strategy. So this is forming a bear flag. After this particular full line is broken, I need a some small base pattern and to look for selling opportunities. Overall, I'm looking only for selling opportunities in Bank Nifty. Just keep in, keep this in mind. I'm just looking at selling opportunities in Bank Nifty, and this is my analysis. And 26,500 is what I'm just looking at. So 50% ratio or maybe 0.6% ratio is what uh, I'm looking at this level. Okay. So support level, which is 26,500. So this is my bias, of course, bearish bias uh, in in buy Nifty. So if in case, if, of course, what are the things we are doing is just 50% right here. In case if we think that market can move upside, so what kind of patterns I need? So I need a bear, uh, uh, I mean like a descending channel here, uh, this kind of pattern, bullish flag kind of pattern. So the, I'll definitely, uh, uh, I mean, I'll just, I'll definitely reverse my uh, analysis, reverse my bias towards the upside. So overall it's downside, but I don't think so. I, I have seen any bullish pattern here for moving upside. So yeah, chances are there highly probability there for the market to move downside. So this is Bank Nifty. So I hope you got uh, to know how this Bank Nifty moves. So let's go to Nifty 50, exactly same uh, the way Bank Nifty is behaving. So I'll draw my all levels. Don't ask me how I'm drawing. Just go through all the charts, which I'm uh, all the all the posts which I have explained here uh, in in the YouTube. Okay, I have uploaded all the videos in YouTube. So this is a trend line which is following from long time, and this is a trend line which has broken previously, uh, recently. Sorry, and if you ask me, what is the perfect resistance? I know the resistance level. So this is the level which I'm really looking forward. So this is something which is really strong. I'll draw my Fibonacci as well. And if you can clearly see that 50% is really uh, respecting that level. So this one, at these levels, 50% is really uh, respecting. So I think the probability is there for the market to fall till this level, which is 12,800. Okay, so chance are there. So let's go for the, of course, now this trend line is broken. So overall the market is downside, right? So now let's go for the one one hour time frame. I, I have already said that I'm not looking at four hours because two four hours candle forms a daily candle. So now here we can clearly see that it's forming the rising wedge pattern. Same kind of pattern I have seen in Bank Nifty on February, in January, sorry, in January and same kind of pattern. I have predicted that uh, Bank Nifty is going to fall down badly and yeah, exactly it has happened like that so at present it is at the uh at the support level which is timing support level if you want i can even draw those levels as well one touch two touch and of course it's a third third touch okay so here as well one so two we don't really need to consider all those things four three to four okay so this is what how the price will I mean, this is where the price is really there. So price is really volating here. I mean, it is being testing there one, two, three. So it is at the demand level. So what kind of pattern I need? I need some sort of bearish kind of pattern for the market to move further downside. I don't think so. Uh, market may can move upside. So it can move upside. Okay, it can move upside like this still here. It can form a bearish flag like this and can fall down like this. Why? This is a pa pattern we can see. So, so the next target will be 13,400 or maybe 13,500 like that, or maybe 13,300. And if this level is broken, no one can stop this stock 
sorry, no one can stop this index to fall down till 12,800. Remember, this is a trend line which is uh, waiting from long time because this is the dynamic resistance level, right? If this dynamic resistance level is broken, it becomes dynamic support level. So chances are there, highly chances are there can come down till 13,000. And just remember this other confirmation, this is 0.5% uh, retracement level as to 50% retracement level according to the Fibonacci. Okay, so chance are that can fall down till 12,800. Okay, so nothing, nothing difference in uh, 15 minutes time frame. It is same. I need a small, like a kind of uh, uh, sideways market, like a kind of uh, uh, bearish pattern here. Bearish pin pattern also is fine to look forward for the market to fall down badly towards the downside. So, this is my bias in Nifty 50. And uh, yeah, like I just want to say this thing. So anything can happen. This also can happen. So this is a bear flag, right? So I can even see this one as well. I'll draw with this one. Bear flag, it can move forward like this. Okay, so this is a bear flag, right? It can move like this as well. Chance that, okay. So this is what I'm looking at in Nifty 50. So yeah, this is analysis. Of course, uh, of course I'm towards the bearish bias. So buy Nifty and Nifty 50 is towards a bearish bias. So let's go back to the SPI. So same thing. If if buy Nifty is towards a downside, why not SPI? And of course, it will be in a, it will be towards a downside, right? <laughs> so same thing. So I'll draw all the levels. So this is our support and resistance levels plus one, and that's it. That's fine. Okay. Why the price got rejected here? So there might be some resistance level. I'll just draw. So this is the uh, support and resistance level. I'll draw the trend line here. This trend line is broken, and this is a uh, trend line which is being, I mean, which is respecting. This trend line is broken. See here, it touched this trend line. Okay. So now where it will touch? Where the price will touch? Maybe this one. I have always said right. If dynamic resistance is broken, it becomes dynamic support. Same like Pan FT and FT50. So this is a trend line which is really following. One touch, two, three. So it can move till here. Okay. So if we want, I can even draw 50% retracement as well. So this one. So where is the 50% retracement? Somewhere here. So I'll draw that particular level. So this is a 50% retracement level. So I'll uh, delete my Fibonacci. I don't really need that. So if you look at this thing, this particular level, which is 250 level or maybe 250 to 260 level is really holding stronger in this particular stock. So highly chances are there, highly probabilities there, price can test this level and move further upside till this resistance level, which is 350 level. So let's go for the one hour time frame and see how it goes. So this is one hour and let's keep on testing here. So why this is rising wedge, okay? So this is rising wedge and this is a trend line which is broken. This is this particular trend line. And uh, what kind of setup I'm looking for? I'm looking for small bearish flag here. And I'm looking for selling opportunities for till the downside here. Okay. And uh, yeah, till here, I was just looking for selling opportunities till 250 or maybe 260 level. So let's see how the market goes and uh, let's see how this particular market will react. So just, and uh, so yeah, that's it. Only for selling opportunities. Sell bias in bank uh, is BIN. So JSW steel. So in this JSW steel as well. Oh, uh, let's go for JSW steel chart. JSW steel. So yeah, let's go for daily time frame. Uh, I always come from uh, higher time frames to lower time frames. I don't really go. I mean, of course, I we need monthly and weekly time frame analysis as well. Okay, so I think you guys can remember this thing. This is the analysis which I have given long back. I think, uh, uh, like I have uploaded that video as well in YouTube. Okay, in in one of this video, I have said that uh, yeah, if it is broken, chance that it can definitely touch four twenty level. So this is the analysis which I have done separately, and, and this video is in in YouTube. Okay. So, yeah, if you ask me if, tell where the price can really bounce back. So this is a resistance level, which I was just looking. And this is a trend line. 
and of course this is a twin and we can even draw this twin and from here to there as well but we don't really need so this is a twin and we just broken uh small ascending channel or a maybe rising wedge kind of pattern so this is daily time frame and even you can draw the fibonacci as well which is 50 percent adjustment is what we need right so 50 percent is around uh here at around uh, here the 50 percent adjustment is which is 342 like that kind of i mean that kind of level so let me do the fibonacci so this is what i'm just looking at okay i'll overall i'll say the the level till i mean the price till where it can go so this is daily time frame i'll go for one hour time frame i can clearly see the market is falling and i'm pretty sure that can move further downside as well so this is the uh, uh, resistance level which is holding and this is the support level which is holding so what i'm looking at is what i'm saying is so definitely expecting the market to fall down till like this and um, that's this particular 50% retracement level and bounce from there. Remember, this is a uh, bull flag and this is a rising wedge. 50% retracement is what I'm just aiming for. And this is a trend line, which is really supporting for a long time. So this three, four, uh, 340 uh, level is 340 or maybe 350 level is really good. Okay. So yeah, let's see how the market will react in this particular JSW still. So same thing in uh, 15 years time frame, no need to change. So I need some bear flags here for the market to move towards the downside till 340 or 350 level. And then I'm looking for long-term uh, upside moment, okay? And uh, yeah, mostly at present, at present sell bias, but long-term buy bias. So I just said that I'll say one particular, uh, one particular pattern, which is really forming in this level. And that one particular pattern is nothing but a cup and handle pattern. A cup and handle pattern. Cup and handle patterns are very, very stronger, very, very highly probability patterns, which are really good with the small stop loss and big targets. Uh, so this is a cup and handle pattern. I'm just looking at from long time. And uh, so chances are there for the market to move upside really strong. So if you ask me, what is my target level in JSW still in coming days? Okay. So trust me, guys, I don't really care about fundamental analysis or maybe uh, fundamental analysis or maybe any information like that. I always believe in technical. So, so the, according to the technicals, according to the cup and handle pattern, this will be our target price. So I'll just clone that. Okay. I'll just clone that. What I do is I just do from here. So 720 is a level which I'm really looking forward for the target. 700 level, okay. 700 is a level which I'm really looking for the target. So this is basically a cup and handle pattern. Of, it's, it's a small kind of uh, uh, analysis, okay. We really can't predict the market to touch 700 level. It's, it is just an analysis. So if you ask me, I can I can uh, definitely say that this is a trend which is falling. So maybe chances are there. Okay, chances are there it can touch 680 or maybe 700 level. Okay, so couple hundred pounds are very strong and uh, mostly for the buy bias. That's it. So this is JSW still. Mm, yeah. So let's go for another chart which is Cool India. I'll go for I'll go this. Look at this Cool India really fastly. Of course, I'll come from daily time frame. Overall, this is moving down stress. So if I don't think so, market can uh, move up. So this is a trend line which is really respecting a falling kind of falling kind of wedge or maybe bearish flag kind of thing. So this is analysis which I have sent it in a group. I think uh, maybe uh, four days back. So I'll draw the support and resistance level. This one, this one. That's it. So yeah, these are the levels. I don't, I'm not looking at any reversal patterns here for the market to move upside. So what I'm saying is, so chance are there it can form, can form like this and uh, it can bounce from this level uh, towards upside. Okay. So overall, I'm looking only for selling opportunities in coal India, not even buying opportunities. So if you look at 15 minutes time frame, this is what happening. 
and can bounce from here. Okay. So overall bearish kind of pattern. Long term is bullish. Why? Because I have one bias in uh, in in this cold India, and that one is oh, where can I find that? Yeah, this one. So I don't think so. I can definitely get that. Oh, sorry. So I'll draw with this one only. So inverse and in shoulders pattern. Okay. You guys are getting that inverse and in shoulders pattern. So yeah, maybe a chance are there for the market to move side. So let's see how the market will react in um, all India. For all at present, sell bias. So BPCL is a pretty good stock. I was just looking at. So this is a okay. This is a a lot which I kept for myself. So I'll definitely do this thing. So I'll go for daily time frame. I'll draw all the levels very fastly. So trend line, trend line, bear flag. Bear flag. I just send this chart for you guys. And this is what we're expecting. So overall, overall we can see that clearly it's forming. It's forming. I mean, it's the price is moving in this pennant. Okay. So we really can't uh, say till where the price can go. But more all we can see that it's a bearish kind of pattern. So chance are that it can move further downside. But I don't think so. It can. It will definitely move towards the downside. This is kind of uh, forming a symmetric time. Uh, symmetric. Uh, kind of pattern okay it can break here and can move upside it can break down and can move downside okay oh uh, either either direction anything is possible so if you look at Fibonacci as well this is 50 percent uh, here the 50 percent tested 0.60 percent tested 60 percent is also tested and the price is bouncing at this support level which is 50 percent 38 percent as well so if just 38 percent as well bounce so chances are that this 0.23% can break. I mean, 23% can break and can go till this 0% uh, which is this high. So it can even move towards the upside as well. So overall, I'm looking for, um, I'll wait for some more information for the market to give me. So overall, this is at present is at the 38% level. So let's wait how the market will react, whether it will bounce or maybe it will break towards the downside. Okay. So this is at the dynamic uh, support level as well. So let's see, I don't think so. I'm looking at any reversal kind of pattern as well here uh, for the market to move upside. So I need this kind of pattern. This one will be bullish flag and can bounce from there. Okay, so overall, I'll wait for some more information for some more days to give me good Clarity and of course I I include some other advanced concepts which I use, uh, and, and I've always said that right. Uh, I'll say you three information, three points at the end of the session, which will definitely change your perspective. Okay, so this is what I'm looking only mostly for buying or maybe I like mostly I'll wait for for some more information, uh, for 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 some more days. Okay, so this is what uh, I was just looking at these talks. So. Sell bias in Bank Nifty, sell bias in Nifty 50, sell bias in now, uh, of course, SBI, and of course, uh, JSW still is also sell bias, long term buy bias. Okay, and I have always said that JSW still my target is 680 and 700. Okay, and uh, Cool India as well, uh, buy bias because inverse head and trade is forming in this level. And the BPC, I'll wait for some, for some more information and then I'll decide. Uh, how uh, to react with the market okay so this is what i just want to say so yeah I ju i'm just saying that uh i'll just uh like i just want to say three uh, important points before winding up the session and uh mostly you might be waiting for this this uh this statements okay so like this is my psychology. This is my experience. This is my perspective. It's not like uh, completely true, but this is my perspective. Okay. So the first one is uh, whatever the things uh, we see in the market. Okay. That is not true. Okay. Whatever the price action, whatever the things we see in the market, 
it is not true okay let's say if we are looking for buying a percentage at the support level it's not true market has different plans and it can even go uh it can even uh, uh go uh, against our analysis as well so what I, why i'm saying this thing because there is only 50 50 chances for the market to oh uh, there is only 50 50 chance with an analysis okay we have to change our bias as well if you're looking for buying opportunities let's say in spi and and if the market is moving and within the next 10 seconds or maybe within the next 10 minutes our buy bias analysis will change to sell bias analysis okay so everything is 50 50% we have to evolve okay the second point is so i just got this out few like three years back okay so uh, from the from the past three or like from the past thousands of years okay we are seeing that we will get nothing for free okay we'll get nothing for free so what 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 does what does i mean what i mean okay so what are the things we need uh, we need in our life or anything any anywhere okay we have to pay for that okay we have to pay for that okay so we'll get nothing for free we have to pay for that so we have to pay the price it deserves we have to pay some amount of price uh, in order to acquire uh, those things okay so why i'm saying this thing okay so this particular statement which is stuck in my mind 3 years back okay 98% of the time 98% of the time big players win in the market okay big players means big big banks hedge funds all those people they win in the market and there is only 2% chance are there retailers are winning in the market okay so uh, if there is 90% of the chance big players are winning in the market and uh, i have always said that nothing will get nothing uh if the price is free okay if if 90% of the chance uh if big players are winning in the market why the hell these people are giving all these tools for free what do i what do you mean for free okay why all these tools are for free trend lines fibonacci there's rectangles uh head and shoulders patterns elliot waves harmonic patterns all these things why the hell all these things are for free so according to me if there if all the according to me uh what i personally consider is they are all giving all these tools just to manipulate us that's it according to the tools which they are giving they are just manipulating all the retail traders just to avoid the uh noise just to avoid the noise means we are definitely not noise okay so so personally i don't really believe all these tools definitely i don't really believe all these tools all these tools so how come we can uh, how to overcome all these things we can't do anything it, everything comes with experience at one point of time you will get to know that how the market is really working and that time you will understand that these all tools are really bullshit okay just imagine that uh, so and so dmat accounts will definitely charge like uh, maybe 500 rupees as a as a fee for every year i think so right so just 500 rupees why <laughs> so there is something going on in the market which we really don't know so this thing which really stuck in my mind we will get nothing for free and if they are giving it for free then there is something uh really beyond what we really think okay so this is a second statement and the third one is so third one is if if you guys really want to sustain in this market so all you need is consistency so consistency is nothing but uh, it's not like you uh, it's not like you're earning 1000 rupees or maybe 10 rupees or maybe 50 rupees or maybe 500 rupees or maybe 10000 rupees okay all what matters is the consistency you are maintaining in the market okay so how does this consistency comes this consistency comes uh with the confidence with the belief in your strategy okay so how 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 I mean like uh, uh how does this confidence how does this belief comes this all comes with the action with the progress you do in the market okay with the action with the progress you do in the market first one is consistency next one is a conference how does the conference comes this is conference and how does this conference comes it comes with the action you apply in the market okay now this action is worthless if you don't have a 
profitable strategy a profitable strategy is nothing but which is with i mean uh, the accuracy which is more than 50% is of course a profitable strategy okay in order to do all these things you need a profitable strategy that profitable strategy is what you need to identify and you just need to master that okay so yeah i just want to say these three statements okay the first one is what are the things you are seeing in the market is completely false 50 50 person that's it the second one is all these tools are free why they why if all these tools are working really well why the hell they are giving all these tools for free you can easily go to google and type tradingview.com or maybe investing.com and uh, and create an account for free in these platforms why the hell all these tools are free free so this means there's there is something going on in the market which is uh, really different okay <laughs> so yeah i'm just planting this unique question in your brain okay please don't brainstorm uh, these things and uh, second and third one is consistency and just maintain consistency you will you will overcome all those things with experience in the market so these are the three things i will just want to say this thing so i hope you got some value from this session and uh, i hope you got uh, from this video so so i'll uh, i'll make sure to include more more uh, unique concepts in coming days for more for increasing your probability or maybe their accuracy as well so yeah i just uh, thought to share these analysis yes i have thousands of uh, trading psychology uh, thoughts in my brain but i i can't explain all those things at present here it takes time and uh, yeah no, make sure you just uh, go through all the free videos as well okay so if you really want to learn uh, advanced concepts uh, if you really want to learn uh, with a systematic uh, way if you really want to learn with a good trading plan with a good strategy with a highly probability strategy then i'll definitely recommend you guys to uh, i'm i'm definitely i I'll, def i'll definitely welcome you guys uh, to pro stock market community and uh, we'll definitely uh well i am mean, like i'm just i'm definitely looking forward for you guys to see in pro stock market community and trust me like i don't really give analysis on all those things in this community everyone in the group are trading on their own i don't give calls i don't give signals i don't teach shit i don't teach uh, uh anything uh, which is uh, not related to stock market everything everything straight point straight i'll everything i'll explain with a uh, straight forward and i'll come uh, to the point uh, how the market uh, actually works okay uh, really welcome to the pro stock market community if you are really looking forward to increase your knowledge and to increase your uh, probability of winning in the market and uh, yeah guys thank you so much for looking forward to this video and i'll come with more watchless more stocks in coming days and i'll make sure to uh, make uh, at least two or three videos for every month and i'll make my time and i'll try to uh, uh, post it on youtube and thank you so much for watching this video i hope you got some value from this session and if you really got some value from this uh, from this video from this video so i'll definitely suggest you to comment uh, uh comment uh, and uh, please do share this video and uh, i hope um, you can even request your uh, stocks as well in in the comment as well okay thank you so much guys and have a nice day and take care bye bye